Okay. Get the phone here. Oh, there we go. Sorry about that. <coughs> okay. So I mentioned we were working on um, AppFuse and we did some jQuery stuff. And I think I mentioned that once we were finished that, I was going to do um, put together wired up to LDAP. So that's what we're going to start on this video here. Um, I think I also mentioned that I run my database on a virtual machine. So I have VirtualBox running in another room on a Linux server. And uh, here it is. I'm RDP'd into my VirtualBox server. We're running a Red Hat Enterprise with um, um, Oracle 11G. And what we're going to do is install Apache on it. Okay, well, that's we're not using that anymore. So we'll just get rid of that. Okay, let's get a terminal window. Okay, so um, I have this install directory where I have a copy of Apache downloaded. I got 155. I had some trouble with um, the latest version, so I backed up a couple, and everything seems to be working better. The newer one might work better in a couple of weeks. So, um, first thing we're going to do is we're going to... Okay, oh, by the way, I'm logged in as the Oracle user on this machine. Um, one of these days I'll figure out where I can get enough disk space to upload these VMs so people can get access to them. But basically this is a uh, an Oracle starter VM that you can get. So if you just go to Google and type in Oracle developer VMs, you'll find a few of them out there. And then with a little bit of ingenuity, you can convert them from VMware to VirtualBox. And then install the plugin in VirtualBox that lets you RDP into the virtual machine. It's actually just way cool. So um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to untar that and then we'll end up with an Apache um, DS directory. There we go. So we're going to go into conf and in here there is a server.xml. We're going to edit that. Now if you look at this you'll see that um, there's a couple of these partition things. One of them is the system partition. We're not going to monkey with that. Um, the other one you'll see is the example partition. Basically what we're going to do is um, add another partition here. And um, Apache DS comes with this um, 7 C's partition that has a bunch of old English sailors. <laughs> so we're going to basically um, fire that up. So let me go back to uh, my Eclipse. Okay, I have some files in here. So what we're going to do is take take this partition and we're going to paste it in there. And we're, that's all we have to do for the config. Um, change that. Oh, and the other thing is that Apache DS is a uh, Java thing. So on this machine, um, on the on the Oracle VM, of course, Java is already pre-installed on it and ready to go. Java 1.6. So um, let's just see that. So it's already ready to go. So once we run um, Apache DS to start it up, everything will just fire up. It that's pretty cool. So okay, there we go. Apache DS is firing up. We're going to get a couple of error messages here. These are actually okay. Um, so if we go over here, we're running in bridged mode, so we can actually get a, get we get an IP address for our box. So we're looking at 162, which is where um, our Apache DS and our um, Oracle server is running. So okay, we followed these two commands, and that's really all we had to do to put that in there. Now um, what I do is I use um, J Explorer. So we, I have JXplorer installed. It's a Java-based um, LDAP um, explorer. So we're going to fire that up. And then we have a connection. I have one already set up here. So we're going to connect to that IP address and that port number. These are the defaults for Apache DS. So it's 10389 instead of the usual 389. It's LDAP version 3. Now we're going to create the um, 7Cs um, container but right now we don't have it so we just want to go in at the root and then the password for the Apache DS um, admin user ID here is um, secret S-E-C-R-E-T so we're just going to uh, log in ok 
Okay, there we go, it worked. And you see here the partition's been created, but there's nothing in there, of course. So what we're going to do is we have these three files that are in the project. Um, so one of them is going to build our root um, partition or our root context, actually, is what this is. So we're going to import that first. Okay, so we'll do an LDAF import, and we're going to import our root context. Okay, no errors, so it probably worked. Um, and we didn't get an error when we clicked it this time, so we can do go up here, and I think we can do refresh. Oh, we probably want to do it here. Okay. So now, once that's done, we're going to import the next file, which is our containers. And this will be the groups, which contains the, um, the ships and the ranks, I believe. So we'll import that next. There we go, groups. And it's going to create our people container. There's no people yet. But we should have um, crews and ranks. Okay, so these groups were created. Now we actually have to load some data into these things. So we're going to import. Now we're going to import the sailors. Okay, now we should have everybody. Let's do another refresh. Give it a second to update. Okay, now let's see what we got. Okay, so we have crews. Okay, so basically everyone is going to be um, a member. Well, not everyone, but some people will be. So HMS Bounty has these people. And um, the Lydia has these people. My favorite, Hornblower. And um, Victory has this one, um, Horatio Nelson, of course. Um, so and what I did was I added some of these. These don't come with it. So the files I have created these. So we have an officer and a seaman. Um, you can use these if you like. I had it originally set up for that, but it didn't seem to make any sense. I mean, really, we're doing, you know, who's going to be an administrator and who's going to be a user. So I created these myself and added them to one of the files and put people in it. So here we have our um, officers, and um, I added a couple people in here for just semen, and we can test that login. Okay, so um, that's really all there is to it as far as installing um, Apache DS and getting it wired up and getting some users in it. So in the next video, what, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to wire AppFuse up with um, Spring Security and have a little bit of custom code that can look up these groups and then map them over from um, the um, Apache DS groups to um, the AppFuse group. So for example, in um, the LDAP server we have a group called Officer. We want that guy to actually map to the AppFuse group um, admin and we have Seaman. We want that to map to the AppFuse, AppFuse group users. Okay, catch you in a bit.